Hello folks, in this video we will learn about the most powerful JavaScript array method and that is the reduce method. But before starting, do you guys know that only 3% of you are actually subscribed to my channel? So please subscribe to my channel, it's absolutely free and let's get started. So as usual, we have a Pokemon Trainers array with 3 Pokemon Trainers, Wally, Gary and Lyra and some other properties. So first of all, we will see uh, how to use the reduce method by a simple example. So let's say uh, I want to count the total number of Pokemons. So I will create one variable. Let's name it total Pokemon. And now how can I use the reduce method? So I will identify my Pokemon trainers array and I will use the reduce method. And by default, the reduce method will have uh, two parameters. So the first one will be called accumulator. And you can name it anything else, but uh, this is a like uh, common use case, uh, ACC. And uh, the next one will be the current item and we can name it as CUR. Again, you can name it anything you want. Now, this will be one callback function. Now, how can I use the ACC and CUR? That we will see. Now, also in every reduce method, we have to return our accumulator and we also have to set up one initial value. And let's say my initial value is zero. Now, to get a better idea of what this ACC and CUR is, uh, let us simply console log them. So, I will simply do one console log of accumulator and the console log of the CUR also. And now, let's see what are these things. So, we have lots of zeros and we have Wally first time and next we have Gary and then we have Lyra. So, it is clear that uh, this uh, ACC and CUR, I mean this CUR is actually iterating over this Pokemon trainers. And what is this uh, accumulator? This accumulator is actually the initial value. We are not changing this ACC and that is why it is showing zero every time, but we can actually change the accumulator. Now, this variable is the total Pokemon. So we want to count the total number of Pokemons. So we can do that using the ACC. So how can we do that? And we can do it simply by writing something like ACC plus equals to, and then we have the CUR that is our objects. And we will do CUR dot Pokemon count. So now this will count all the Pokemons of the current elements. That is our Pokemon trainers. And it will store them in the accumulator. Now if I all save the program, we can see it's 0, 6 and 10. And that is because it is counting the 6 from Wally and the 4 from Gary. And we are getting 10. Now the total value is stored inside the total Pokemon. So if I console log the total Pokemon outside, uh, we will see what is the total number of Pokemon. So we have 13. Now, as we have said that the zero is initial value. If I, let's say, change from zero to two, let's say we already have two Pokemon, and then we will have the result of 15. So this is a simple example of uh, how we can use the reduce method uh, and then store some useful information. So basically what reduce does is it will convert the whole array of objects or anything into one single value. And that value in this case is one integer, and that is uh, we have 15. But it can also be something more complex like an object. And now we will see one more complex example. So now uh, let us create another array. And let's say this time we want the total Pokemon, but also we want some information. Let's say who are the Pokemon trainers. So I will create another variable. I will name it total Pokemon info. And uh, I will have my Pokemon trainers dot reduce. Again, I will have the accumulator and the current element. And this is a callback function. And now what do we want? First of all, uh, we have to basically return our accumulator. And uh, we also have to set up something, some initial value. Now in this case, initial value will be one object. But what kind of object? So the object will have one total Pokemon. So total Pokemon will be, let's say, the starting value is zero. Or it can also be two. Uh, let's uh, start with zero, then we can check with two. And also, let's say we have the trainers. So this will be one empty array. Now, once again, we can simply basically, uh, let me just copy these two lines and paste it uh, in the second uh, reduce method. And uh, let us uh, also comment out the above one to get some more clarity. And we have uh, the empty object, Pokemon zero, and uh, the arrays with zero elements. And we have Wally, Gary, and Lyra. Now, uh, how can I uh, populate these values that we will see now? And that is also very simple. Uh, so we can do something like this. So our accumulator is uh, basically my empty object, but our current elements are what we have. So what we can simply do 
is we can do accumulator dot total Pokemon and now we can do the same thing plus equals to cur dot Pokemon count and now uh, for the next one that is for the trainers we will do accumulators dot trainers and then we will use push because we want to push into one empty array and we want to push our cur dot name because that is how we stored our Pokemon trainers so now if I save uh, what we will get so uh, we don't have the empty arrays anymore so for this case we have the total pokemon as 13 and we have Wally, gary and lyra so that means it works so let me just uh, console log this thing to avoid confusion i will console log total pokemon info and let's see what do we have at the end so we have 13 and trainers we have Wally, gary and lyra so this is how we can also condense this whole array into one smaller object using the reduce method now lastly one more thing we will see is that we can also give some initial values to this uh, object values so let's say total pokemon we have two like last time and let's say we already have one pokemon trainer and he is our good old ash and uh, not old good young ash so we have total pokemon of 15 because we also have ash who has two pokemon and we have four pokemon trainers ash wally gary and Lyra. so that is uh, one basic example of how we can use the reduce method uh, like in react and in like uh, in many javascript use cases we use the reduce method a lot and uh, if you use the reduce method well maybe you won't even need the map and the filter methods so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and bye bye